Hey lovely people, hoping you're doing amazing. Welcome back to my channel. In case you're a returning subscriber, it's a pleasure having you back. In case you're new here, welcome and kindly consider subscribing to my channel and also remember to give me a thumbs up or liking this video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a very potent hair growth oil and that is rosemary oil. I will also be showing you how to use this rosemary oil for hair growth and its benefit to the hair. Stay tuned and watch to the end because you don't want to miss anything. This oil will change your hair game completely. So guys, as you can see, I'm using freshly cut rosemary stems. So I'm just plucking the leaves into the bowl. I only used two rosemary stems because they would be enough for the quantity I wanted. Also ensure that the cutting are clean to prevent impurities that may contaminate the oil. So I had rinsed these leaves before to ensure that they are dry and free from moisture by the time I'm making this oil as moisture might reduce the shelf life of the oil. So here we have our leaves. So guys you can as well use dry rosemary leaves. Whichever leaves you have just use them. Next into my bowl I'm adding my olive oil as my carrier oil. Olive oil is a great moisturizer to the hair. It adds softness and strengthens the hair by penetrating the hair shaft and preserving moisture. It also helps to thicken hair as it contains the omega-3 fatty acids that helps the hair to become voluminous. So I'm adding it in there. You can use an oil of your choice. So for this recipe, I added about one cup of olive oil. So I'm going to heat the oil and I'll be using the double boiler method to avoid overheating which may destroy important nutrients. So I put water in a pan and turned it to a low heat setting. Let it come to a boil and then placed the bowl in. So I let this boil for 20 minutes and after the oil is well heated, turn off the heat and let it cool. In my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game. And the next step is transferring everything into a glass jar. The reason why I'm transferring it here is that I want to leave it to infuse really well. So this is how the oil looks right now. Just stay tuned and you will see a huge difference after it has infused. It takes made lots of mistakes, taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great, popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say. Yeah, I work hard each and every day. So, I'm covering the jar with an aluminum foil. This is to avoid any reaction with the lid if it might happen. So, I will be leaving it in a cool, dry place to infuse. So I let the oil sit for two days without touching it. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. Two days later, here is our oil. Just observe the color. The oil has infused really, really well. The color is greenish, a change from a pale yellow. So that's why you should be patient with your oil in order to get all the benefits. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, da, 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 da. So guys, this is where you should consider rosemary hair growth oil on your hair care routine. Rosemary oil improves blood circulation on the scalp and this provides a lot of benefits to the hair and the scalp. It helps the hair follicles to thrive if they are being cut off from their blood supply which may cause hair fall. Rosemary increases hair growth similar to rogaine, which is used in regrowing the hair. Rosemary prevents hair loss as well as helping in regrowing bald patches. Rosemary strengthens the hair and therefore with time the hair appears thicker, denser, brighter, with more shine and elasticity increases and therefore there is less breakage. It also has anti-inflammatory properties that alleviate itchiness and irritation and this improves scalp health. Rosemary improves the scalp environment and therefore it prevents hair loss because of the less breakage of hair. 
it has antifungal and antibacterial properties and therefore if the fungal issue or the bacterial issue is causing damage or hair loss there is prevention and improved hair growth So I'll go ahead and transfer it to my applicator bottle and then I'll go ahead and apply it on my hair. That's my only friend, no light, just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb. A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines. And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes. You snooze half the time while I move passing by. Uh. I work hard each and every day. So to begin with, I go in with my rose water hairspray for hair growth to moisturize my scalp and hair. If you don't know how to make rose water, I'm going to leave a link on the description box down below. So kindly go and watch that video. So I massage the water into my scalp. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Next, I follow in with my rosemary oil for hair growth. So I start with the scalp and massage it in. I love this applicator bottle because it's pointed so it can penetrate the hair easily even when you are in a protective style. If you don't have an applicator bottle, you can simply rub the oil on your fingers and massage onto the scalp. Also remember to massage the edges as well. It is very important that you massage the edges, especially if you have thinning edges this oil will regrow your edges so to use rosemary oil you can apply it directly on your scalp the way i've been applying it today you can leave it in or rinse it out as you wish it's up to your liking you can as well add a few drops of the oil to your shampoo you can also use it as a pre-poo before shampooing your hair that's it on usage so this oil can actually last you up to two years without going bad and by then you will have used all of it so that's it for today all i'm asking is for you to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't and remember to share your thoughts and let's interact on the comment section see you on the next one